Hello, everybody. It's E.T.'s Babies. Oh, I ain't been on in a while. I told y'all I was going to be on in a while. And I wasn't lying. Um, I started back working. So. Oh, my gosh. I started back working. So, on top of moving, um, our landlord has given us another month. But... Um, really don't know what's, what's going to happen or what is going on, but, um, that's where we are right now. So, um, yeah, I started work last week, um, work with my, my fiance, but, um, we work at two different locations. So I don't really, I don't really like working with my mate. <laughs> So, I prefer us not to work at the same location. I mean, we live together. <laughs> I don't know. For each his own. I was telling my sister about this, and I was like, dude, I really don't like working with my mate. <laughs> like, I love him, but for me, when I go to work, that's like de-stress time. I'm de-stressing from the house. I'm de-stressing from priorities, relationship, all that stuff. So my son texted me yesterday and he was like, I literally just got in the truck yesterday. Literally just got off of work, got in the truck. My phone was dying. And he like, mom, how your day going? The kids don't know I'm back working. I ain't tell nobody that I was working. So I'm like, good baby, I just got off of work. And he was like, oh, okay. So now he want to have a, a full-fledged conversation with me. And I'm like, dude, I literally just got off of work and I'm, my phone is about to die. So, you know, I just text him real short. You know, I'm, I just got off of work. He's like, okay, mom, so what you finna do? I said, rest. <laughs> That's it. And he, I guess he got upset or he felt some type of way because he was like, why are you being short with me? I'm like, boy, I literally just got off of work. My phone is dying. I ain't even made it to the house yet. I'm tired. Do I feel like talking right now? I'm tired. I just got off of work. He's like, oh, okay, I was just making sure nothing was wrong with you. I'm like, boy, something about to be wrong if you don't stop with the attitude. I literally just got off of work. And it's my phone. If I don't feel like responding to you in a full-fledged paragraph, it's... I ain't got to explain to you why. <laughs> like, boy got on my nerves as soon as I got off of work. I'm like, dude, you don't even live with me. And you are already rocking me. Leave me alone. I literally just got off of work. I literally just stepped in my truck. I'm trying to debrief the job before I go home. And here you are doing the most. I'm like, boy, mama is fine. I'm tired. I just don't feel like it right now. He's like, okay, mom, well, I love you and hope you eat something. And, you know, <laughs> watch a movie and be comfortable. I'm like, I am, babe. So once I got comfortable, you know, I texted him back and I told him, you know, once I got out the shower and put some food in my stomach, then I was able to have a conversation. But I don't know about y'all, but when I get off of work, I don't want to be bothered by not anything. <laughs> I really don't. I do not want to be bothered. So, and he know that because my kids were staying at home with me. Well, when I was raising them. They used to, as soon as I walked through the door, y'all, blah, 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 both of them at the same time, we had to stop that. I most definitely could not do that. You are not finna bum rush me as soon as I get in this house. Y'all. <laughs> yeah, and so I don't know why he didn't forgot that ain't nothing changed. If I, Well, he didn't know I was at work, first of all. Y'all. Y'all see my, my knee brace back on my leg. I go Friday to the doctor, um, which most most likely they're going to ask to do a, they're going to ask to um, do an x-ray because I think I pulled a muscle a while back working out. And um, yesterday when I was at work, y'all, I bent down to pick, I bent down to wipe something. I was working. <laughs> 
So I bent down, I was cleaning something up. And when I bent down, y'all, I felt my knee. All day yesterday I came in, I tried to do, you know, some stretching after work. I tried to, you know, put my leg weight on my legs so that I could kind of strengthen my muscle. It worked fine last night. It took the pain away. Um, I fell asleep. I put some of this on my knee <clears throat> before I fell asleep. It's vapor rub. Hold on, her head is turning. I want to show y'all what this looked like because I ain't never seen these before. When I was a kid, vapor rub came in a little container. You stuck your finger in it. You wiped it on you. I ain't never seen vape rub that looked like a tuba deodorant. It is, it's vapor. See, it's the vapor stick. And um, my guy likes to research a lot of stuff. I had no idea vapor rub was good for so many different things. I literally grew up using Vicks on my chest, my nose when I was sick. I used it on my kids. I didn't know you could use it for headaches, body pains, cramps, um, muscle aches. I didn't know you could use it for all that stuff. I, I may sound retarded, but I never knew that you could use this for all of those things. And trust me, I did it when I found out because I got all them elements. <laughs> and it really do work. It really does work. And I was kind of, I was kind of surprised because I really wasn't expecting it um, to do everything that my guy was reading that it could do. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh. This whole time, I wonder if my mother knew. Because, <laughs> you know, she introduced me to using Vicks. And she used it on us when me and my sister were kids. So I'm like, I had no idea that Vicks worked for multiple things and not just when you were sick to break the code up out your chest or to open your nose up so you could breathe. <laughs> but it also worked for other things. So I'm oblivious to that. And I don't research a lot of stuff because I'm a worrisome person. And I get to research things and then I start worrying and overthinking. So it didn't never dawn on me to look up VIX and find out what else it's good for. But my guy has this brain of curiosity. So he looks up everything, even things I tell him. <laughs> he looks it up to make sure it's correct. So he looked up the VIX and I was really, I had to come on here and tell y'all because I was just like, I wonder if anybody else knows this or am I the only one that's just oblivious to knowing that Vicks doesn't just help when you're sick. That sounds so bad, y'all. And I have kids and I should have known this, but I've only ever had to use Vicks on my children when they were sick. It never dawned on me when they were going through their growth spurts and their body was aching and I could rub Vicks on them. <laughs> Did not know that. I got, um, I made spaghetti with shrimp and ground beef like two days ago because I knew we were going to, me and him, we're both going to be working and I have to be up by four or five o'clock in the morning just to take him to work because he's a supervisor slash management. So I cannot, he can't be at work early. I have to be at work by 11, but, um, I go in at... 10 30 i get there by 10 30 because we have a free cafeteria and i'll be up in there eating my little heart's desire out where i know i'm trying to lose this darn weight it ain't with nowhere i swear y'all i feel like you know us women we know when our body gain weight most of the time we ain't even got to get on a scale we know at least i do in the areas that my body gains weight in i get sore and if i ain't worked out <laughs> I know for a fact that's the part of my body that's gaining weight or losing weight. So I got on a scale. I have a smart scale. It actually, it, it checks for your, the amount of water that's in your body to see if you're dehydrated. It checks for a lot of stuff, but I ain't figured out how to play around with that thing. I just get on it. You're supposed to step on it without your socks on so that it can read how much water intake you have in your body and all these other great things but i never take the time to take my socks off to let it read read me because i'm afraid what it's gonna read <laughs> so i just put my feet up there with my socks on so i could just see how much i weigh 
And I'm still, my weight has stabilized. Y'all, this is alcohol and water still. Um, I've been working. So that last video I did with you guys is the last time I fed her. So we're just, in her arm is like, y'all see her arm? Yeah, I don't like that bending like that. So I'm going to bring her arm back in. Okay. So, yeah, y'all. I didn't get a chance to, to do the second or third feeding with the vinegar, the alcohol and water to make sure there is no mold in her. Um, because I started working when I started working, um, I'm really, my body is used to being stationary. So when I went back to work the first day of actually working, y'all, my back felt it. My knee cracked open on me. <laughs> So I'm like, oh Lord, I told my guy today, I was like, when I go to work today, I'm going to um, wear my knee brace at work. Because I was like, I'm not, I don't want to miss no days of work. So I was like, I'll just wear my knee brace. We ain't there that, that long in the first place. We only there for a couple of hours um, every day. So I was like, dude, I'm not calling into work. My knee has been like this for the past several months. And I've managed to move around and do things that I need to do. Get up and down stairs. I don't run, but I don't need to be running at work. So <laughs> it's like I can do everything that I have been doing, I can do at work. The only difference is that when I go to pick up stuff and I have to bend, my guy was like, you need to bend with your knees. And I'm like, I did. I didn't bend with my butt in the air. I'm at work. <laughs> I'm like, I bent with my knees, but my knees ain't all that great. Especially my left one. Like they both have the same um tension in them but my left knee needs seems to be a lot more weaker than my right y'all bent down trying to wipe them darn tables down them legs of them tables and my knee was just like what you doing i know you're not bending down <laughs> i'm like oh crap but it was good though it was at the end of the day so you know would it be any towards the end of the, of the sh well, I shouldn't say end of the day, but it was towards the end of the shift. So, you know, I just tried to, you know, what they, um, limp it out. <laughs> just limp the whole rest of the day. Nobody noticed it, which was great. So today, uh, my guy was like, well, you know, let your boss know that, you know, your knee is kind of iffy. And, you know, he... We both work for the same company, but we don't work at the same state place. He only comes to my place when um, somebody does a call in or something. He comes over to my station or over to my building because he was in my building yesterday, which I didn't like. I felt so uncomfortable because nobody knows we're together. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't like working with my man. I will see you when I get home. But today he's at his own building. And I think tomorrow, y'all hear that beeping? That's my microwave, y'all. I can't wait to get another microwave. I don't like stuff that make noise. When someone gave that microwave to me when I first moved into this town, um, one of our neighbors, you know, she was moving out and she didn't want the microwave anymore. So she ended up giving it to me and I was like, great, the microwave works fine, it's clean. The only thing is that when it stops from warming something up, it will keep beeping to let you know that it's still in the microwave. Like, I ain't forgot I'm hungry. <laughs> like, that's so annoying. Like, it just keep on beeping until you get up and go in there and open the door. So I'm, I told my guy, I was like, I really think that once we move into our new place, I'm going to replace the microwave because that is so dang annoying. I know my food is still in the microwave, <laughs> but everything's going okay so far. Um... We haven't found a place yet. Um, when I started working, things got tad bit hectic. Um, yesterday, uh, my guy was tired from work. I was tired. Y'all, we literally came in, ate spaghetti, and watched the movie and fell out. <laughs> we didn't do nothing else. <laughs> if anything else required of us, it did not get done. Because, yeah. It's not a long shift for me. It is for him, but my shift isn't long, which I was kind of disappointed in because I don't have an actual time of getting off work. I have a time of being there, 
but whenever I'm, when, as soon as I get done, I can go home. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? So my guy was like, I ain't used to no job where I don't have a set schedule. <laughs> he was like, yeah, no, you go home when you're done. I'm like, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know how to pick up hours. It's bi-weekly, but I'm still like, dude, I'm trying to milk the company for every bit of ability I can get. And you mean to tell me as soon as I'm done, I get to go home? Like, I'm not in my 20s. I don't have young children that I have to hurry up and be home for. My man is grown. He don't need me by his side 24-7. So I feel like, well, damn, I might as well move slow so I can stay there a little longer. Because I need some hours. Like, it's it's a good job. It's easy money. But I've never been used to a job where you can just leave when you're done. I'm used to a job where you're there at it from a certain time to a certain time. And then you can leave. And he like, no, when you're done, you, you get to go. I'm like, what? I swear, y'all. Y'all finna say, I know they didn't put no preemie diaper on this girl. What am I feeling? Okay, that ain't her. For a minute, I was finna say. But yeah, I haven't been on in a while. And y'all all know why. Because <laughs> I'm in the midst of moving. The nursery is pretty much broken down. I was supposed to sell three babies. Them babies I packed in a box because um, they weren't really selling or moving as fast as I needed them to. And like I said prior, I wasn't finna be putting dows up on layaway and I wasn't holding. And I decided that, you know what? I'm not really too quick to selling them because they were only gonna be sold to add money to my income to help move but with me working now and our landlord giving us another month to you know get our, some of our affairs in order um i really don't have a desire to sell them <laughs> so tobias abraham and who else was up there oh and aj are not for sale anymore because people did not um i don't want to say people took their time but People were not interested in the babies, so I boxed them. And I threw all of the clothes in a big garbage bag because I don't have the time um, to put all that stuff to. I wanted to fold all the baby's clothes, but if I was gonna put it in a garbage bag, they're little tiny clothes, they're gonna unfold and unravel anyway. So I just put them in there. So I was like, it is a hassle to ship a baby off because I don't just throw a baby in a box. I dress it up. I make it smell good. I do its hair. I find pretty clothes to send it off with. You know, I clean my pacifiers and sanitize them before I send them off because most of the pacifiers and things that I do send in my box openings, they are mine. They are not things that I went and bought in the store. So, you know, with COVID and everything, I try to make sure that when I send stuff off, it's not going off where somebody going to open up that box and get sick. So I wipe stuff down. And I ain't got the time to be doing that right now, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I don't want to be saying, like, I don't have the time for you guys to sell babies to you guys because, you know, I don't want to put it like that. But I am going, I'm a, I am in a situation right now where I can't reborn. And, um... I cannot sell right now because I just don't have the energy for it, guys. Like, it takes a lot to put a baby in a box to make it look pretty and nice. All these box openings that you see that these uh, women have and some of you all have had uh, or may have had, those box openings aren't magic. Ain't nobody snapping their finger and making it look pretty. It takes work to put that stuff in the box and to make it look pretty and to make sure it all fits. And... That takes time and energy and love and patience that I don't have right now because I'm working. I have not been in that room to finish painting those babies because it's going to take time. And even though I have three weeks to do it, um, I'm working. And in order for me not to lose my patience, I cannot do too much at once. So I... Until we figure out what the landlord is going to do, where we're going, what we're finna do, um, I will be packing those babies up as well. 
Today, I'm going to try to get to the post office so I can get some more small boxes. Um, because I have to pack up my, um, my supplies, the kits that I'm working on, the kit that I got to strip. I have to work on that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I have to pack all those things up. So I need like probably four more boxes because I have weight. I got poly and I got the, the, I have the micro glass beads weight. And I also have weight for children, those pellets. Yeah, which I don't even know why I bought those because I ain't making no babies for no kids. I feel like. For one, it's a waste of my time and my energy because if I paint this baby and it's made for a child, ain't no kid finna take care of no reborn the way an adult can, which means my paint is going to get messed up. The time that I took it in rooting the hair is going to get messed up. Can y'all hear that? I'm going to have to watch this video. That's my neighbors upstairs with a dog. It is seven o'clock in the morning and that dog is barking nonstop. So today I was supposed to do this yesterday, but I had other things going on. I'm going to call the front office of the apartment complex and let them know that, listen, I don't know if y'all want to hear a dog barking at seven o'clock in the morning, but my neighbor's dog barks all day long. You know, put him in doggy daycare where you at work. Because you're in a whole apartment complex, not a house, and the dog is barking, and he's barking now. So, yeah, um, other than that, everything is going great as far as it can go. Um, yeah, every baby is, is packed up besides Pickles is the only one that I didn't pack. She kind of, I have her, um her munchkin in here with me her swing set her little chair or whatever y'all want to call it well that's in here with me right now um i'm just going to feed her a little bit more and then i'm going to check her little diaper but yeah so everything's been going great besides my knee you know, not liking the rest of my leg. <laughs> like, I don't know what's up with this knee, but I've had bad knees ever since I was in my 30s. And it ain't getting better. And now I'm about to be 42 and my knee is just like, it didn't, it's over it. <laughs> my knee is over it. My knee like, no. I know we not doing this right now. So. I'm going to let her be done with this because I don't want to flood her system with um, alcohol and water. And put my little spit up child you always manages to do that to me. All right, so we just going to help get the rest of the fluids and everything down to the bottom of her little body. She she don't have a reservoir. So her fluids go directly in, out of her. She don't have a bladder or anything. Of course, I have had babies like that in the past that had a reservoir and I wasn't aware of it <laughs> until I had to ask the artist about his drinking wet because he wasn't, he wasn't letting it all out. And I thought something was wrong. And it, he, it, it was just the fact that he had a bladder and if he wasn't sitting up or bending at the waistline to push the rest of it out, it was just sitting in his bladder. And I was like, oh, that's neat. <laughs> I didn't know that he had a reservoir. I didn't request a reservoir in him. I requested a drink and wet. And he ended up having a, a bladder. And I thought that was just really neat. I 
I don't know how. I don't know how they put those in there, but that is just so awesome. See, I knew you were going to spit up, and I don't want that alcohol on your face. Considering alcohol does take the paint off your silicone, um, I don't dry her face, or I shouldn't say dry, I shouldn't wipe her face because of the alcohol. I mean, you really shouldn't wipe their, their silicone skin anyways, but if you so happen to do for whatever reason, I would be a little cautious to, you know, I'd be a little cautious to wiping them with alcohol. Well, not with alcohol, but knowing that you're feeding them alcohol and they get it on their lips or something. I just mat it off. I don't. What is on your face, girl? There we go. I don't um sit there and rub on her skin and stuff. It's 8.30 now. Thought it was 7. So it's 8. So I take that back. It's not 7. It's 8. I'm going to leave her in my bed. So when I get off of work today, I can just come in and get her. Well, actually, I can't come right home from work. I have to go downtown to my um, fiance's location and pick him up first. And then I can come home. <laughs> and then I can come home. So I'm just checking her diaper. This is why you guys don't see her. You only see her little face because I'm checking her bomb bomb now. I just want to see if there's anything in her diaper. Okay. She has like this little dust that be in her diaper. I don't know if that's pretending to... Please don't pee on me because I don't feel like smelling like alcohol and I got to go to work today. So I'm going to show you guys the inside of the diaper. See those little dots? That's literally what, what came out. And the diaper is pretty thick. Um, I don't know why these diapers don't show a green line. You see it's right there, but the whole diaper is soaked, but it's only... It's not showing all over the place. It's only showing in one spot. I don't know. I think I might switch out of Huggies and go back to Pampers because um, the Huggies newborn diapers don't show lines. This is the second time I've changed her and I've noticed that I don't see. I don't see a line in the diaper. Will the diaper be wet? All right. I got to get her another diaper. Matter of fact, I'm going to let her sit here. On her blanket, her little booty out. Because I gotta get her a diaper and I can't lean over her to get it. Okay, so I'm finna put a diaper on her. But you guys, I just want to come on real short and sweet. Let you all know what was what is going on. Um, I'm not gonna put her diaper on her. I'm gonna let her diaper sit out so she can air dry. But yeah, I'm going to eat my spaghetti, enjoy the rest of the little bit of morning I have before I get on the road. And um, go make some money for today. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to come over really short and sweet. I'm going to try to do videos in the morning after I drop my guy off at work. And then when I come home, before I go to work, I'll try to um, get some videos of you know, pickles up. I was trying to get pickles a, an outfit for um April, a spring outfit, but I'm still debating on that because I'm literally stuck on a budget on top of my birthday coming around the corner on the 26th. I'm very ecstatic, but at the same time, I really don't have no income to do anything for my birthday. So we shall see how that that fans so yeah guys um this is et's babies i am signing out please remember to like and subscribe to my channel please remember to share my channel because sharing is caring <laughs>